the number one net point team in the NFL, the Buffalo Bills. Yes. Coming with coming in with a brain trust of Brandon Bean at GM, Sean McDermott at head coach, Ken Dorsey at offensive coordinator, Leslie Frazier at defensive coordinator, and Matthew Smiley at special teams coordinator, and one Josh Allen at quarterback. Your favorite AFC team. My favorite AFC team and my team, my early pick to get to and win the Super Bowl this upcoming season. And win. Yes, I'm going to stick my neck out right now and say they will win the Super Bowl this year. It's an early prediction. I reserve the right to change it, although I probably won't. Uh, their GM is Brandon Bean. He was director of football operations and assistant general manager for the Panthers from 1998 to 2016. He's been the GM of the Bills since 2017. Their head coach is Sean McDermott. He was a defensive position coach for the Eagles from 2001 to 2008 and defensive coordinator for the Eagles from 2009 to 2010 and with the Panthers from 2011 to 2016. He became the Bills head coach in 2017. So you got a defensive minded head coach there. Uh, offensive coordinator is Ken Dorsey. He was a quarterback coach with the Panthers. That's probably where he linked up with Sean McDermott from 2013 to 2017. And between 2019, between 2019 and now, he was the quarterback coach for the Bills. He is now their offense coordinator. <clears throat> Defensive coordinator, Leslie Frazier. Here's a guy that's been around for a while. Served as a DB coach for the Eagles from 1999 to 2002, became defensive coordinator for the Bengals from uh, 2003 to 2004, was a defensive assistant and a position coach for the Colts and the Vikings before becoming the Vikings DC in 2008. He had a stint with the Vikings as their head coach in 2011 and unfortunately he was fired from the job, but came back to the Buccaneers as a defensive coordinator slash secondary coach and did that for the Ravens also. And then he became the defensive coordinator for the Bills in 2017. And Josh Allen, no doubt about it, one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL right now and still has room to get better. If these guys take care of him, continue to build the team around Josh Allen, I see him winning the Super Bowl and becoming a top quarterback in the league. Well, he's already a top quarterback in the league. So again, I believe this team is ready to knock on the door and kick it in at the Super Bowl, led by Josh Allen. All right, well, let's see who else is going along for this ride to the Super Bowl when the roster resets. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll tell you right now what catches my eye. Their big losses aren't very big. Emmanuel Sanders is on the back end of his career. Cole Beasley, uh, Mr. Unvaccinated, took a beating last season. And I heard a rumor he's with the Rams now. So I don't even, yeah, I think he's gone. Uh, Darrell Williams was a pretty good offensive tackle. They'll miss him. Uh, the big additions were snatching Von Miller away from the Rams. Hopefully they can squeeze one more really good season, <clears throat> season out of Von Miller. Uh, O.J. Howard came over from uh, the Buccaneers. Again, O.J. Howard, when I talked about him with the Buccaneers, he hasn't lived up to his promise. Perhaps he will now that he's on this team. And Roger Saffold is a nice addition to the offensive line at guard. Where are we at here? Oh, the draft. Ah, yes. So when we did the draft, I did my mock and I picked five guys correctly going to the correct team, uh, not necessarily at the correct pick, but going to the correct team that I, that I predicted. And this was one of them. In fact, the Bills actually moved up to get Kyrie Elam, the cornerback out of Florida. 
one of the top defensive backs in this year's draft. This guy's a plug and play. He'll be a starter from day one. In the second round, they snagged James Cook, a running back out of Georgia. James Cook should be pretty nice. In fact, I think we got some bloodlines here. James Cook. Who's his brother? Who's the running back for the Vikings? Dalvin. Dalvin Cook's brother, James Cook, running back out of Georgia. I like him. I like him. And that that running back room is not really nailed down. They got a couple guys. Devin Singletary played pretty well last year, but um, I don't think he's got the number one job nailed down. James Cook could go up there and make some noise at running back, possibly be a starter, although I think they like to run a committee up there. But he'll definitely get his name called. Uh, Terrell Bernard, nice linebacker out of Baylor, moves well. Uh, Khalil Shakir out of Boise State. I don't know a heck of a lot of, about him or any of these other guys here. But uh, I see another punter, Matt Araza out of San Diego State. Kudos to a punter getting selected in round six. And I also see a player from Villanova. Let's mention him. I'm assuming this is why you have these guys listed. <laughs> Christian Benford, a cornerback out of Villanova. I like it. I like it. Wow. Did we did we do it again? Did we cover the whole rest of the NFL? That was it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We're that's done. It. That's the number one team right there. So we went 16 to number one. Whew. Every brain trust, every roster reset. Make sure that when you're looking in on Ben and Barry that you do click that notification bell, that you do click that subscribe button, that you remember you can find us at www.benandbarryonfootball.com as well as all of your different social media. All right, I'm tired. I don't know about you, Benny. I'm waked out, bro. That was a rough session. Any last words? My only last words is go Knowles. <laughs>